League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Flying Squirrels of Richmond and the Midland Rockhounds. Striding in is Will Wilson and we are ready for some daytime baseball. One one pitch is a curveball that misses ball two. And we'll have summer sun in abundance this afternoon. 95 degrees at first pitch. Scooped up. And the day begins with an out. There's one away. Now to bat, Elliot Ramos. The center fielder of the 14. Elliot Ramos. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Luciano. The one one home. Misses above the zone for a ball. High in the air down the right field line. McDonald is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Two down with a runner at first and that'll bring in Hunter Bishop. Hunter Bishop. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Oh, outside. To two balls and two strikes now. Ball three. Three and two now. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Now to the plate, here is Mickey McDonald. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Hit down the line at first. Throws in time, and that's out number one. And now here is Marcos Brito. Second baseman. Marco Brito. Hit to first. And that's the second out. Digging in will be Lazaro Armenteros looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. 1-1. One, one. Two and two. He's certainly pushing the throttle and pulling it with those four pitches. Statistics class tells me I'm sitting fast. Edwin Diaz would be next. And the payoff pitch. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. New inning set to get underway, and digging in is the switch hitting catcher, Patrick Bailey. Two balls and a strike, here it is. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're gonna have any success. Something has to give, here's the payoff pitch. Down the left field line and deep. And they can't run it down. So three, two, one more time. Now a swing and a little bouncer softly hit to the right side of the mound. On the first, and there's one gone here to start the second. Next will be the designated hitter, Luis Toribio. Toribio. A 1-1. One, one. Line drive snagged on a short hop. And there are two away now. 
into the box. Jason Krizan. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. The 2 1. Out in front as he rolls over it to second. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. So here's the cleanup hitter, Edwin Diaz. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Hit down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Put that in a memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. Even count, two balls and two strikes. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Next, it'll be Robert Poisson. Not shortstop. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Fastball called strike, one and two. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. At the plate now that is exists. Tyler Soderstrom. Trying to make something happen Tyler. with two gone in the bottom of the second. Outside, oh, two and plate. one. Ball two. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. But to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Oh. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Jacob Gonzalez. The one-two. Line hard to center field. Loriano is right there, one down. So that stepping in is Luis Matos. Both Luis teams so far yet to crack Matos. the hit column. One and two as he chases the slider. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. Got He's him. got feel for all his pitches. Throw on to first, two gone. Ready now is Will Wilson. He bounced out last time up. Will Wilson. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hey. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Soderstrom has it. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Bottom of the inning now, and set to go is the third baseman, Jordan Diaz. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And he'll put this one away for the first out of the inning. Striding forward now is the DH, Jonah Bride. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Slider is right there, 83 on the gun. It's one and two. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. All set for the start of the fourth. And digging in is the outfielder, Elliot Ramos. I know we're not seeing a lot of offense in this one, but there's still some game left. I'm looking to see these guys, both offenses, make some notable adjustments at the dish and try and scratch a few runs across. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Gone to lead off the inning.
Into the box now, Marco Luciano. This pitch is popped up. Brito is under it. One down. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Hunter Bishop, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the 1 and 1 pitch. That's out. Ball Fastball three. well outside. Bases are empty, one man out. Three Got him to go two after strikes. the change there, and that'll run things full three and two. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right He's now. Up. We go to a full count. Do you sit change up? Now or do you stay with the heat? Patrick. Digging in next, Patrick Bailey. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. No Ball offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off homer, and now he's one pitch away from getting out of this inning without any further damage. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Now with the plate is Mickey McDonald, grounded out in his last at-bat. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Hey, throwing the ball great up into this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. Now back, second baseman, Marco. So now to the plate, Marcos Brito. Okay. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. And he popped him up. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. He's set. Here's the two, two. Reached for and popped into the air back behind second. Luciano stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. So now to the plate, Lazaro Armenteros. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now a 58 foot curveball that misses for a ball. Oh, tough pitch. Things just not going his way on the mound right now. Three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Fly ball out toward left center field. Bishop will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. So next to hit no, is Edwin first Diaz. Base. Struck out in his first at bat. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. A leap, but this is out of reach and off the wall. He's in at second safely as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. Number three, shortstop, Robert. At the plate, Robert Poisson. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Good change up in the dirt, strike three. And the throw to first ends the inning. Now to the plate, Luis Toribio. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 1-1. One, one. Weak grounder down the first baseline. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Stepping in next, Jason Krizan. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's 1 and 2 now. 
really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Now that the third base into the box, Jacob Gonzalez hit out towards second. A dive and he knocks it down. And the recovery throw is too late, and there are two on with one away now. Now back. Right here. In now, Luis Matos. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. The second base. So next to bat will be Will Wilson. Oh, for two for him to this point. Mind to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And to score is the runner from third. It's now a two to one ball game. Now that the center fielder, Elliot Ramos. Stepping in now, Elliot Ramos. High in the air out to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. Now the relay home. And add a run on the sacrifice fly as that'll make this a three to one game. Up next, Marco Luciano. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Hoping to limit the damage. Here's the pitch. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Matos over at second. Wilson on at first with two down. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this AB hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and now it'll be the catcher, Tyler Soderstrom. The 3 1. A swing and a miss, and that'll fill the count at 3 and 2. Looked like he swung at ball four right there. Clearly, he saw something in that pitch that he liked out of the pitcher's hand, but that wasn't a pitch he was going to do a whole lot with. And there's one away. So now into the box is Jordan Diaz. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, Matt, he's got to lower his sights a little bit right now. We talk a lot about this, the elevated heater. We're seeing it so much in today's game. He's got to find a way to make this pitcher work down in the zone just a little bit more. Skied into straightaway right. Matos back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. A designated hitter, number so five. the next to bat will be Still Jonah gone. Bride, who went down on strikes in his last at bat. The 1 1. Hit in the air down the right field line. And it's a foul ball. Here comes the 1 2. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Now at the plate, Hunter Bishop. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Still 1 and 2 as he fouls it away. As a pitcher right there, do not be surprised if he throws the same exact pitch. He was lucky to foul that one off. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2-2. Two and two. Lifted the other way out to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. James Nail is on, and he'll take over on the mound in relief. Your attention, please. Digging in, the switch hitter, Patrick Bailey. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. 1 1 home. Now a drive out to left center field. Legs churning, he's headed for second. 
And he'll pull into second with one away. Now that designated hitter, Luis Toribio. To the plate now, Luis Toribio. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Nail, a six foot four inch right hander. He throws a four seam fastball, a That's slider, a changeup, a cutter, and a two seam fastball. Jason Krizan will be next. He's set and the three and one pitch. High and deep down the left field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. That's popped up. Poisson takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. So here is Jason Krizan, one for two. He grounded out first time up and followed that with a base hit. Set to deal on two and two. Now he turns and smokes this one into deep center field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. He pulls into second safely as a run will score on the play as well. Now battle the third baseman, Jacob. Standing in now, Jacob Gonzalez. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Next, here is Luis Matos. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Three and one to him now. And he nope. misses again. Oh, ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base the on ball. Next to hit, Will Wilson. One of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Yeah, this is one of my biggest pet peeves in the game when guys get count leverage and take fastballs. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and up next will be Ramon Loriano. Now the 2 1 pitch. Misses with that one down and in. It's a full count now, three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might no, be a good time ball for ball a three-two change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Highway Tang takes two. over on the mound here with nobody out Mickey. in the sixth inning. McDonald. Mickey McDonald will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. That's going to even up the count at two and two. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Two and two is a changeup that misses three and two. Well, these guys haven't had too many opportunities yet to test the running game in this one, so they could decide to put a man in motion right here. Liner in there for a base hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Now back. Second baseman. At the plate, Marcos Brito. Brito. Line drive base hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. As he arrives at second without a play, as a run also comes in to score, making it a two-run ball game. Into the box now, Lazaro Armenteros. Yep, that ball went out. And the slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Full count, three and two. Definitely in a tough situation facing the three hitter. You could work around him and maybe walk him to load the bases, but that just sets up the cleanup guy with the bases loaded. Luciano is under it as he puts it away for out number one. Striding in is Edwin Diaz, trying here to plate the tying run from second. The 1-1 home. 
takes a pitch for strike number two. McDonald at third. Brito at second with one away. On a good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time the today. Number three. Stepping in once again is Robert Poisson. A base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in time. And the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. Now at the plate, here is Elliot Ramos. It was an RBI sack fly for him last time through. The 1-1 home. Ball two. Two strikes. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. Nope. But this is going to land foul, so they'll tee it up again. Three and two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Loriano is in his tracks now, and he puts it away for the first down. Next, it'll be Marco Luciano. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Here now the 2-2. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And it's fouled away. The next 3-2. Lofted in the air out toward right center. McDonald is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. That's going to bring up Hunter Bishop. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Last half of the seventh here, and next to hit is the catcher, Tyler Soderstrom. Here it comes on one and one. That's ball three. Yeah, well, down two. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tying run to the plate. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. In comes the center fielder, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Next to dig in, Jordan Diaz flew out last time up. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Wilson backs up and takes care of it. Two away. And stepping in, Jonah Bryant, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. The 1-1 home. Swung on, and this ball is hammered. Forget about it. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. In now, Ramon Laureano. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. That's ball Outside two. and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Two and two. That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the corner a ball. little bit, he would have picked up that backwards K. And the pitch. Swing and a liner. That gets down, and the inning continues. 
Now batting, right fielder, Mickey McDonald. At Blake now, Mickey McDonald. Ball in. At nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. The count now at two and two. Loriano, runner at first with two gone. A swing and a ground ball to third. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Stepping up is Patrick Bailey. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Next up is Luis Toribio. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Now the one and one pitch. Grounder down the line at third. And that gets through for a one out base hit. Now Jason Into the box, Jason Krizan. In for strike two. Nope. Two balls and two strikes now. 4-3 our score here as we play the eighth. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2-2. Two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. This is line to left. In there, a base hit. Wanderson Charles takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Standing in now, Jacob Gonzalez. And here's a swing and a miss. And that, folks, is a big out number two. Two down runners at first and second. And that misses two and one. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Ball even at two and two. Here's the two and two. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. The set and the two-two. Oh, he goes the other way, and he drives it out to deep right center field, and that is off the wall. And the runner will score from second, and the second run will score as well. Now batter. The second base. So Will. now to the plate, Will Wilson. Wilson. And he fouls this one off. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Fouled away. Down the left field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. The next three, two. The count remains full. I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher 
and batter right here is what makes the game great. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land untouched. Two out here and a runner at second. And that That's misses ball four. ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. That'll bring it's up Elliot Ramos. Elliot Ramos. A 1-1 home. I got two one he's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus on making some good pitches. Just gets a piece there at 98 on the gun. It's a foul ball. Here now the 2-2 is looked at, and the count moves full. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. Fouled off. Payoff pitch one more time. Fly ball to straightaway left. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Your Sam Wolf please. is on to pitch out of now the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 23, Sam. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And standing in as the switch hitting second baseman, Marcos Brito. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Next to hit is Lazaro Armenteros. Not providing much out of the three hole in this one. Hitless in three at bats so far. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. Count even at two and two. Fly ball out toward left center field. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Edwin Diaz. They're quickly down to their final four outs here tonight. The one one home misses ball two. Lifted down the line and left left fielder is on the move into the corner. He makes the catch to end the inning. Aaron Brown enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. And now Marco Luciano. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Line drive to left. Armenteros has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. The batter. Next to stand in is Hunter Bishop, looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Now the payoff pitch home is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Now it'll be Patrick Bailey. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The 3-1. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. Next up, Luis Toribio. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Two and one. Ground ball right side. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Tyler Sear is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. Tyler Now into the box, Robert Poisson. He grounded out last time up. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. 
A leap at the wall, but he can't bring this one back. It's a home run. Into the box now, Tyler Soderstrom. A ball and two strikes now. A one two. Turned on, but it's wide at first and foul. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. So now here is Jordan Diaz. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 1 1. Hit high and deep to left field. Going back is the left fielder at the track. Gone! <laughs> Rafi Vizcaino comes on here looking to get the final two outs and earn the save. At the plate, Jonah Bryant. That one yanked just foul. The Rockhounds find themselves losing in the late innings. What are your thoughts on this one, guys? Yeah, Matty V, this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and you go, wow, you hit the ball all the ballpark, but still not enough offense. It just goes to show you this sport is still, D-Row, all about pitching. It is. It's, it, it begins and ends on that bump right there. And there's just so many facets to the game. And that's going to get your tying run in scoring position as it ought to be good for extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. At the plate now, Ramon Laureano. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Mickey McDonald. They'll go to work on getting that tying run home from second. And this is swung One on ball. and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Struck him out. So he'll strand the possible tying run at second. And a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching, and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. A one-run game, 6-5 to five, the final today. Richmond used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Sean Jelly pitches well enough to get the W, so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Fans, our final line score.